I wanted to take a worksheet and turn it into something more digital. Google Forms has always been a great option. Cami, Classkick, also great paid options. Google Classroom's practice sets allows you to do this with an existing product for free. All I need to do is either create or open an existing Google practice set. I'm going to go in and edit it. And now I'm going to import a question. When I click import, it's going to ask me to upload or find a PDF. Currently, practice sets only supports PDF. So any other documents or slides you need to put out, you'll need to print as a PDF first. Now you can upload it directly by dragging and dropping. You can find it on your computer. You can find starred things within your Google Drive. You can find shared drives, your drive, or find something that you recently used. Here's my PDF. Using Google Forms, I would have had to go through, copy and paste that from one document into my Google Form, where here I see that there's a question, number one, that I want to use. Maybe I'll extend it and include that diagram so students have something to see when they're referencing the question. Here's my second question that I want to ask. I can scroll down. I can find my fourth question that I want to ask. Now, maybe I want to edit. Maybe I didn't select it as well as I'd like. I can stretch that up. Now, this is going to create images, not going to create text for you, but I can import those three questions. If I scroll up, I can see my new three questions, question five, six, and seven. It copied over that information that I selected from my PDF. I can now change the size of it because this is an image, essentially. I can edit out if I double click, I can crop out that image. If I want that image, but it's too, too big right now, I can change the size of just the image itself, just like any other media you'd put in there. Now this automates to a short answer no matter what. I can still have an auto grade short answer for this. I could have a paragraph. I could have a uh, single select multiple choice or multi-select multiple choice. If I leave it as a short answer, I can type in all variations of this answer. So if I have different rounded options, I can do that as well. Now I have all the possible answers in there. It'll make it easier to self grade that short answer. If I want to change it to a multiple choice, now there's only one answer here, so I'm going to make all the possible answers, good answers, bad answers, confusing answers. You'll have to select the correct answer from the list. If you decide that there are two correct answers you want them to choose, it will delete any questions that you've already, or any answers that you've already created. What's great about these more math-based questions is that when we have the students try their work, we're able to let them show their work. So not only can they choose one of my multiple choice answers that I just put in there, but they can explain and write out their work in the space down below. Whenever you're done with all of your questions, you can click done editing. This will take you back to where you can either share the link or if you've created or edited your practice set through a created assignment in Google Classroom, you can click that assign button that'll appear right there.